Hi everyone, today we're going to be creating a game where you need to identify the best, the strongest building materials out there and we're going to use Scratch to create this game and hey if you're new to Scratch or you need a refresher in coding, check out my YouTube channel Pekka Rainio for a bunch of videos that will get you up to speed really quickly and I suggest that you subscribe to my channel because I'll be putting up videos quite often so you can learn a whole bunch more stuff. Anyways, we're going to go to Scratch and I'm going to click on the create because we're going to start creating a brand new game. If a tutorial pops up, you can exit the tutorial because I'm doing the tutorial today. And you can also get rid of the cat sprite. So goodbye to the cat sprite. And you need to get a background for this game, something colorful, something to do with building and stuff. So the one I like for this one is farm. You can choose whatever one you want. I happen to like farm. That's the one I'm going to go with. I'm also going to give this game a title. So look how I do that. I'm going to go down to the sprites. I'm going to hit the paintbrush button. I'm going to get a color that works well with this backdrop and it just happens to be purple. And so now I'm going to click on the letter T for text. And the title of my game is going to be Click the Strongest <clears throat> Building Materials. There we go. That's going to move this over a little bit so it looks a bit nicer. There we go. And move that over a bit. There. Perfect. So there is my title for the game. Click on the build the strongest building material. So I'm going to leave that right there. Next, what we need to do is to get a button. So I'm going to click down here. And I'm going to get the gray button right there, this one. And I suggest you do the same thing. So button right there. And now we're going to do a couple of things to this button. We're going to color it and we're going to put uh, a word on it, a kind of a building material. So look how I do that. I'm going to go to the costumes. And first of all, I'm going to change the color from a boring gray. It doesn't matter what color you choose. It can be any color. So maybe this time I'll get a nice blue. That looks good right there. Wonderful. And I'm going to get the paint bucket and I'm going to fill it in blue. Now I'm going to write something in it. I'm going to write the word steel, but I'm going to choose a different color than blue just so you can see it. Maybe I'll choose a dark color. That'll look good right there. And now I'm going to use the T for text and I'm going to write inside the word steel. Just like that. Click out here. Hey, you can make the word bigger or smaller. Just do that. You can grab it, move it over just until you get it lined up just nicely. So there's my button called steel right there. Now watch how I code this button steel. I'm going to code it so it just bounces around randomly all over the place. And the game means you got to click on it. So look what I'm going to do. When the green flag is clicked, I'm going to put that there. Let me make it bigger so you can see it. When the green flag is clicked, I want it to glide to a random spot. So right there, glide to a random position. I want it to do this forever and ever. So forever glide to a random position. Okay, let's see how that looks. Ready, green flag again. Oh, that's way too fast. It looks great, but too fast. You'll never be able to click it or read it. So I'm going to change instead of glide for one second, glide for four seconds. Just so it glides nice and slowly. You can click on it and you can still read it. So that is done. Now, the game is you got to click on it, right? you got to click on the word steel. So look what I'm going to do. When someone clicks on the word steel, it's going to make a sound effect. And so look what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go here. When this sprite is clicked, when someone clicks this sprite, it's going to play, play a sound effect. So I'm going to go to the sounds button right there. I'm going to go down here and I'm going to choose an effect. And for me in this game, the effect that I like, it's a nice short one. I don't want long sound effects. So for me, it's going to be a ship's bell. Perfect. So I'm going to double click that. So now look in the code. When this sprite is clicked, play sound ship's bell or start sound ship's bell right there. So green flag. I'm going to go over there and click it. Nice. Wonderful. Okay, so I think the steel button is done. Now look what I'm going to do. This is going to save you a lot of time. I'm going to put my mouse pointer right here. Don't click the garbage can by accident. Click over here. Put two fingers on your touchpad and duplicate it. So now I've got two steel buttons. But for this second steel, I'm going to change the color and the name. I'm going to call it iron instead. So I'm going to go to costumes. I'm going to click on the word. I'm going to delete it. I'm going to click and write the word iron on it. And then it's going to move it over so it looks nice. And I'm going to change the color of the button. So instead of a blue, I'm going to give it a different color. So let's see what would be a nice color. Maybe something greenish. That looks good. 
like that. Now I'm going to hit the paint bucket. Oh, it did the word. Oh, I see. You know what? I'm going to make the word black. I like that. So I'm going to click on a text. Now I'm going to click out here. Nice. So now I'm going to go to the paint bucket and I'm going to fill it in with a different color. Maybe I'll stick with a dark green like that and fill it in. So there's iron. And I've already done the coating for iron because I simply duplicated the steel button. So it's going to glide to a random position. And if someone clicks on steel, it's going to make the ship's bell sound. So let's just test it out. Nice. So it's working really well so far. So now what I'm going to do is duplicate iron four or five or six more times. I'm going to put different names of building materials on it. I'm going to make one wood. I'm going to make one brick. I'm going to make another one concrete. And then I'm going to put some weak building materials on it, like straw, like glass, and like aluminum. So I'm just going to take five minutes and duplicate these buttons a number of times and change the color and I'm gonna change the word and keep duplicating it so I have about 10 different buttons. So I'm just gonna pause and I'm gonna be right back and I will continue to show you how to code the rest of your game. Okay, so I took some time and I made a number of other sprites simply by duplicating each one. So I put two fingers on and press duplicate and then I went to the costumes, I changed the background color with the bucket and I changed the text color with the T so that we have a bunch of different um, buttons floating around. I didn't quite finish, but I did get a whole bunch, iron, glass, straw, brick and steel. Some of these are strong building materials like steel, iron and brick. Some of them are poor building materials like straw and glass. Those aren't very good. So I'm going to continue on later and I'm going to do maybe three or four more. So the more you want to do, the better strong materials and weak building materials. Uh, but before we finish, I think we should do one more thing. I think we should put points on the uh, in the game so that when you click something that's a good building material it makes uh, you get an extra point and when you click on something that's a poor building material you lose a point so let's do that so I'm just gonna go to the title uh, we've got nothing coded on the title and I'm gonna go to the variables button right there variables I don't know if we've used that much yet but it's in some of the videos in my learn to code um, videos that you might want to check out so I'm gonna click on variables I'm going to click make a build, make a variable, and I'm going to call it building materials. You can call it whatever you want, health, lives, building materials, um, something that suits the game. So there's building materials right there. And what I want to do at the beginning of the game when the green flag is clicked, let's make this a bit bigger. When the green flag is clicked, set the points to zero. Set building materials to zero right there so when you hit the green flag it should start at zero and now I'm gonna set it up so that when you click something that's a good building material you get a point for example steel so steel is a strong building material so look when a green flag is clicked it's gonna glide but when someone clicks the sprite it'll play the ship's bell sound and it'll change the building materials by one so you get a point when you click on steel however I'm gonna to go to straw if you click on the sprite straw, you're going to lose a point. So change the building materials by negative one. So take away a point. See, negative one. So let's just test it out. Green flag, zero. Good. When I click on steel, I should get a point. Yep, see that? I got a point. Now if I click on straw, I should lose a point. Right, it worked perfectly. Now I'm just going to have to go to the rest of the buttons and add um, change points by one, change points by one, change points by negative one. And you know what? Also, I'm going to get another sound effect. I don't like this ship bell ringing for a glass because glass is not a good building material. So I want a sound that goes wah, wah, or something like that. Then so same with straw. I'm going to change the sound effect. So you lose a point and it also plays a, a sound that's not a good thing to have if you collect straw. So I think we're pretty much done this one, except I need to make a few more of these uh, buttons to float around. But other than that, um, I think we're done. I hope you enjoyed that one, and I hope you build a whole bunch more of these buttons. And I look forward to seeing you at our next lesson. Thank you.